Hey everybody, welcome to Beaming Notes and today we're going to look at the critical analysis, theme, tone and poetic devices of the poem No Men Are Foreign, a poem by James Kirkup. Critical Analysis This poem is an ardent appeal on the poet's part to rid our hearts of xenophobia and embrace the unity of man as a whole. The poet says that wars are fought against those whom we believe are different from ourselves. Most of the time this difference is artificially constructed on the basis of the fact that such men hail from a different part of the world than we do. However, such divisions are detrimental on all counts. They are also based on false beliefs. The truth is that every member of the human race is the same. He has the same kind of physical appearance because he is descended from the same set of ancestors. He experiences the same joys and sorrows as everyone else. He has seen both war and peace just as we have. Hence, he is not different from us in any way. Therefore, we have no right to hate him or kill him. If we do so, it is a form of self-destruction that we are engaging in. We are endangering the survival of the human race on the earth. It is our duty to stick together and take care of our home that had been passed on to us by our worthy ancestors. If we do so, only then will we be able to pass this home down to our future generations. This is an important message for the poet to be giving in the middle of the 20th century when this poem was written. As we know, the beginning of that century saw the birth of nations and impositions of boundaries between such nations. This was thought to be a necessary step in the advancement of the world as we know it. However, these boundaries only ended up fostering negative emotions such as hatred and discrimination. That is why the poet longs for the past when such territorial disputes did not exist at all and man was more unified than he is at present. Poetic devices, rhetorical devices, apostrophe this rhetorical device is used when a poet addresses his or her poem to an absent audience. In this poem, the poet uses a device of the apostrophe as he addresses all his advice directly to his readers. Metaphor This rhetorical device is used when a covert comparison is made between two different things or ideas. In this poem, the poet uses the device of metaphor on the third line as he compares his fellow human beings with his own brothers. He again uses it on the sixth line when he compares war with winter since reduced resources are available at both those sides. He uses it for the last time in the 18th line when he compares wars with hell. Polysyndeton this rhetorical device consists in the use of several conjunctions in close succession, especially where some could otherwise be omitted. In this poem, the poet uses a device of polysyndeton on the fifth line where he writes sun and air and water, repeating the conjunction and unnecessarily. Transferred Epithet this rhetorical device is used when an emotion is attributed to a non-living thing after being displaced from a person, most often the poet himself or herself. In this poem, the poet uses the device of the transferred epithet on the sixth line where he writes the phrase peaceful harvests. It is not the harvests themselves that are peaceful, but peaceful social and political conditions that prevent a shortage of crops or famine and make harvests possible. Imagery The poem begins with an image of the past where the patriot is being welcomed back to his town with paths with roses and myrtles. The use of roses projects a positive picture as it symbolizes love. The heaving rooftops are evidence to the fact that the town is a very cluttered and crowded one. They create a contrast between the past and the present. The image of the crowded rooftops is juxtaposed with the image of the empty rooftops and roads. Rain acts as a negative agent as it creates a scene of misery and works in changing the mood of the poem. The patriot is walking through the town and is bleeding in pain. 
The reference to safety in God's abode ends the poem on an upbeat note as the imagery is of positivity and optimism. Theme Ill effects of xenophobia According to the poet, xenophobia or the fear of foreigners is very basis of the wars. This fear leads us to hate our brothers and endanger the future of the human species on the earth. It leads us to forget that all men are descended from common ancestors and that they share a common fate. This is why the poet tells his readers to expel xenophobia from their hearts forever. Unity of man. The poet goes to great lengths in this poem to show that man is essentially the same everywhere. He experiences the same joys and sorrows and goes through the same trials and tribulations. He has seen both war and peace. Thus, he has seen times of bountiful and abundant avail- availability of food as well times of food scarcity and famine. This is what common life is constituted of and one can find this no matter how far and wide one travels. Therefore, what the poet really wants to say is that the man is united and should remain that way. He should not hate and discriminate among his fellow beings. Instead, he should love them and stand up for them in their times of need. He should not wage war. Instead, he should build up a community of mutual respect with those who hail from different lands than he does. Tone. The tone of this poem is rather disparaging. Most of the poem is like a warning to the human race telling them to change their ways. The poet knows that he must show his readers the ultimate effect of xenophobia to make them realize how bad it can affect them. Therefore, he does not hesitate to do so.